Well, this is what all the power poles here in Lincoln City or wherever the hell I am are doing. They're all hissing and sparking. Attacks like this one are becoming more common. It's a field. They're choking this poor young boy to death. On the street, no one cares. Suspected gays beat them up and accuse them of being pedophiles. Pedophiles! to look the other way. Here was another case. The man using the pepper spray on a gay activist during a peaceful parade is heard shouting, Sodomy is an evil sin. Sodomy is... Uh, oh, heroes do sodomy! Have you ever seen the goddamn videos? There's the bitch with the pussy, okay? Here's this open wound just breathing at you, squirting blood and everything else. The man shoves his dick right up her ass. There is... that's ass sodomy! for their homosexual rights. Why would you do that? Uh, us Christians, uh, we, we are uh, the most helpful uh, group for that people, from homosexual, be because only we, we truly uh, want uh, kind to them. Yes, you know, shooting someone in the face, albeit with an irritant, with pepper spray, with pepper gas, it's not very kind and helpful, is it? They wave of they wave of life is more uh, ha harmful for them. Uh, I'll be the judge of that. Okay, so it's okay to murder faggots and uh, slaughter your screaming pedophile in, in uh, Russia. It's just fine. What does this thing say? An error has occurred. Let's see if we can fix it. Well, there's a few years ago, and this. I was asked to be gay, and I, I refused. That's the truth. Just because I know that it's not acceptable. In Christ, it's not acceptable, according to the Bible. I wish I had the right. How do I kill them? Kill them? Yeah, it's unfair. How can you get mad? You're, you're from me. Do you think they should be killed? You're gonna kill the faggots? <laughs> Try to kill me! Okay. Uh, I'm not a this fag, but place really I, is I really support their cause. Um, I think a man should stick his hand in his dick for another man's ass until he blows his wad. Oh, All this talk about bear killing bear homosexuals bear wasn't helping bear my bear nerves. Bear bear even bear here, bear there's still a few people who refuse to give in. Is are completely different because I had a really easy time really growing up being gay. It wasn't an issue for me at all. So you didn't have any problems? Not really, no. Even when you came and when you came out? Not really. My dad oh, freaks out a little bit because they do. But at least fine now. Um, yeah, so it's, it's interesting to meet you and, and to hear what you have to say because it, it was hard for you. It looks like we're on a different planet because look, you're gay in Uganda and you mention you're gay. You live in fear. It, it, it doesn't matter what even they can set fire on you uh, alive. Oh, they can get plastic things, ban them on your skin, and nobody cares. The public, the police, no one cares. What would happen if you went back to Uganda now? I can be killed. I can lose my life uh, hey, not because he, I've he done can't anything be wrong. Killed. He will be killed. He will be killed. He goes back there. Listening to John made me realize just what a dangerous place Uganda is for someone like me. Uganda. Ganda, ganda. And I always wonder when you are, you say homosexuality is a sin, and there's a bunch of people who clearly are, are gay who are, ex, are in your church. I'm not gay. You're calling them sinners. I mean, that. No homos will ever be allowed on this church as long as I'm the pastor here. Never! Well, 
so that it's the opposite of uplifting. I would it think. does, but one, one I don't. Without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful, who knowing the judgment of God, that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you and give you honor and praise and letting us have opportunity to come to your house. And we pray that you feel pastor with your spirit and let him preach in boldness and these things is in thy name we pray. Amen. All right, Romans chapter 1 tonight. Of course, the part that I wanted to focus on is beginning in verse number 18 and down through the end of the chapter where the Bible talks about those who are reprobate, those who uh, pervert nature and uh, have been turned over to vile and wicked afflictions. And the, the reason I've chosen this subject for tonight is because everywhere I go this week, it is being made this known to me that Stephen tomorrow L. is World Anderson. AIDS Day. And, you know, every time I sign on to the Internet, for some reason, the homepage that pops up is telling me about World AIDS Day. And then I went to the bank this week to deposit the church offerings, and I walk into the bank, and it was all decorated for Thanksgiving? No. Christmas? No. It was all decorated for AIDS. All hey. around the bank, there were all kinds of uh, signs. May I share something with you niggers? Most people that have AIDS are heterosexuals. Like 2% of uh, queers have AIDS. And with the medications they ha have now, it's completely treatable. Hep C would be worse than AIDS. You can't treat hepatitis C. AIDS you could treat. And AIDS is just means, you don't even know what it means, but you're talking about it. You're saying things. AIDS is when your uh, CD4 cell count, or what used to be called T cell, count goes up below 200 or something. And it's some number, and the government designates you as having AIDS, okay? That's what AIDS is, boys and girls, you cocksucking motherfuckers. You sons of bitches. You don't even know what AIDS is. You're just talking. You don't even know what you're saying, Pastor Anderson, you, you cocksucking piece of shit. I'm coming down there to meet you. Okay? I know where you live. My, my family lives in, in uh, that town you live. What is it called? Arizona or some shit? And I'll be down there to meet you face to face. And annoying. though I don't have AIDS and I am not a homosexual, I completely support their cause. I think a man, if you see another man's ass, you should start licking that thing and rimming him and, and then fuck him and then come in him. And, you know, we're, we're, do you understand a man fucking a woman is the same as a man fucking a man? Did, did this, and has that ever crossed your cocksucking minds, fuckers? A woman is just a man with a womb. It's still a man. Now I've come to sing our song with all the family up about World AIDS Day and oh let's find the cure for AIDS and let's make it AIDS free and the workers each had a pin about AIDS even on the floor there were these little footsteps leading up to the bank teller that talked about AIDS even in the footprint and I told the manager you know I said look I know you probably don't have any control over that I was nice to him you know even though you probably don't have any control over it locally here I don't appreciate this this offends me you know, but the sad thing is, I'm probably the only person that complained about it because our society is so brainwashed, they don't even understand why I would have a problem with all this AIDS paraphernalia being put forth. But in reality, uh, AIDS is the judgment of God. And that's the title of the sermon. Well, then why did God give us a, a Look at that practically shit. a cure to HIV, you idiot? You don't even know what AIDS is. Oh, so lame. AIDS, uh, Hep C, okay, will kill you faster than AIDS. AIDS is completely treatable. They have so many medications now, since all my friends are on these things. Some of them have AIDS, yes. You don't know what you're saying, do you? You're just saying words. Uh, there's a 
words and I'll say it. AIDS Day, you idiots, you, you heteros are the ones that are spreading the AIDS, you sons of bitches. Because you're fucking up the ass with anal sodomy instead of vaginal sodomy or oral sodomy. Oral sodomy is, you know, like say, I'm not gay, but if this man with this, like, you know, nine inch dick came in, tried to stick it in my mouth and I started sucking on it, uh, that would be considered oral sodomy. AIDS! You don't AIDS, even know what the, AIDS the, the, is! That's the title of the sermon tonight. Now let's look at what the Bible says. It says in Romans chapter 1 verse 18, For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men that would be who you. hold the truth in unrighteousness. You. Because that which may be known of God is manifest in them. For God has showed it unto them. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood. They're by not clearly faith, seen. Even his okay, we reject God that, so that they are uh, without excuse. Scripture. Because that when they knew God, because if you look outside your window and you see two birds fucking or a caterpillar fucking or a few mosquitoes fucking, and their foolish heart was dark. That doesn't show you God. That just shows you that there's some shit happening out there. And change the glory of life. Life seems normal. It seems like there's is no like God. Man it's the most the logical thing to think. Creeping things. Wherefore, there's no God, God also gave them up that is absolutely a, a legitimate the theory. Incorrect, to the but their it's perfectly legitimate. Change the truth of God into a lie and worship and serve the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever. Amen. He Why doesn't know what he's saying. He's just With reading the Bible. Cause, God gave them up unto vile affections. Now, the word vile means gross or disgusting. Uh, and he says that God gave them up onto vile affections. Is, is one man, you know, having a few drinks and, and say it's his neighbor and they're at a party and, and, and then they go, you know, up to his bedroom and the wife's passed out half dead in the bathtub downstairs and, and they start... You know, kissing on each other and touching and exploring each other's bodies. And, and, and men are, we're natural explorers. We're curious. I want to explore another man's body. Well, then that's a perfectly natural thing to do. And perfectly normal. And this AIDS with Pastor Stephen L. Anderson, well, you know. I know a lot of gay people, and this guy is totally gay. I don't know who raped him when he was a little boy, you know? Maybe maybe it was another, uh, like Pastor John or something, took him in the tabernacle and, and, and uh, uh, gave him his communion. But Pastor Stephen L. Anderson is totally gay. A homosexual. I may have even had sex with this guy when I was experimenting as a boy. I kind of remember someone like this when I was living down there. Sex. I mean, you can imagine me having sex with him, right? We're two men. We both got assholes, so, uh, you know, what? What's wrong? The demon wants me to stop. Let me tell you something. This pastor may be incorrect because he's presenting a theory that everyone who sees everything outside that supposedly God created uh, is, is natural. And, 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 oh, I see a tree, so now I believe in Jesus. You know, come into my heart, Holy Spirit. Oh. Gator. Now, usually only gay people have gaydar, oh. but I have it too because I'm, I have so many friends that are gay. I like that. They, they, they give me massages because it's a theory, and, you know. And if I look at a fucking tree I, I or a bird a or something and, else, uh, it doesn't mean I say, oh, no. well, that's God. That must be God. I look mean, at you. Drop I'm going to start and start calling you Glory Hold Jr. Mia, Mia, what kind Mia, of Mia, Mia. Even their women. 
to change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise, also the you, men. You, you, are always fucking woman, your bitches up the sun. I have video of the Holy Spirit. Over, over, the spirit. over, 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 which is over. Just and receive the Holy Spirit. That's not even that. Now, that's going to kill you for meat. Meat. that. Now, I don't care I if she's your wife. Here, that's still a sin. That I really prize. Because this now we're going to set up cameras in every room of the house, especially the bedroom. Is about and I know you've been fucking your wife from the ass. You have to be killed. You, you, have, to be killed. you have to be killed. I showed you a fucking You have to be killed. Because you were fucking every your whore up her ass. Natural. She goes, ass, 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 she has a ass, 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 ass. But she I has a pussy, like but you put it in her ass. Reasonable. Then you went out, and that would not hold Sticker up in the court of law. No As this jackass should know, he was and just in court really for, uh, pissing off the people at the and border. Then, so today I went out there, and sure enough, there's four yeah, big like he's so innocent. He just happened to have um, a really good lawyer. Uh, on our mailbox, and when he was going through the border, family, those border people, you don't talk with them. Uh, Roll your window down, you tell them, I'm an American, can I please come through? They were all green. Or show them a passport. And uh, uh, he had his window down like one inch. Reds and blues. Now, okay, and he yeah. would not even look at them. Uh, he just kept set, repeating, "Can I go really now? Bad. Can I go now? Blues. Can I go now?" Well, he went somewhere else because they kicked his fucking ass and bashed the wi uh, windows out of his car at the same time. He got them all ready, right? I'm glad he got hurt. It would surely warm his he heart. He deserves terrible a things. A vision of Russia that is wholesome, that's, that's pure, and, and strong. This is a deeply conservative country that is much better at idealizing the past than imagining the future. Picking on gays and other minorities is one of the oldest tricks in the political playbook, and one of the nastiest. It shows the worst side of Russia, just at a time when the government had hoped would only notice the best. Okay, stop, stop, stop. And, and I said, uh, down. Hey, 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 you know, you why, know why don't you, uh, you, uh, you know, take, take, take your, your dick, dick out, out and let me let start, start sucking. sucking. And then, uh, and then uh, 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 yeah, uh, uh, I, I, forgot I forgot what, what we were talking about, about but, uh, but uh, the, the point, point is, is that that heggy fuck is totally fucked. All right? Amen.